Hey guys, I'm just going to put together a quick uh, tutorial here for the refined edge tool in Photoshop. Um, it's super powerful, especially if you're trying to get rid of a background, uh, just like in this picture. So I'm trying to turn the background to a transparent uh, background. And what I'm using first is the magic wand, uh, the new magic wand tool, the quick selection tool. And I'm clicking and dragging and getting the white pixels more or less around the image and it's a great tool it intuitively figures out what I'm after here so this is pretty damn close uh, to what I'm looking for and I can hold down the option key to get the reverse of it and just kind of fix the areas that it missed but overall that's pretty good now I'm gonna hit the refine edge tool and this is where things get powerful because right now like if sorry if I were to just delete this or if I was going to go into my, uh, do this properly, unlock my background, create a layer mask. Oops, um, let's invert this first. So I'm going to hold down uh, Shift Command I, and that reverses this layer mask to that. That is pretty damn good. But when I throw a dark background on this, just to show you what pixels were missed, you can see that there's sort of some awkward sharp edge stuff happening. So if I were to bring this online into a website that I'm building, for example, this might look pretty ugly uh, if I were to save it as a PNG file and bring it in. But if I were to, let's go back and uh, where was I here? Select inverse. So now if I were to refine this edge first and use this as a uh, let's see here smooth feather contrast so I can crank the feather up on this and I can really lose a lot of my image but what I want to do oops cancel is I want to go back to my original selection where it's showing the outside of the image and then I'm gonna refine this and now it shows me quite nicely the part that I'm getting so this is the inverse selection that I'm using to see how much of my original image is being touched and right now, because all of these values are down at zero pixels, it's going to be a very sharp cutout of this image. But if I put some feather on that, like maybe I don't want too much because there are also sharp areas up here that I want to preserve. So I'm going to do like a 0.5 pixel feather. And then if I smooth that a little bit too, you can start to see that this is a much more intuitive and smooth uh representation of the image I'm going for and then shift edge is a very powerful way of telling the, the uh, computer what parts of the image to save and what to reject so if I crank it all the way up you can see it's going into my image and if I crank it all the way down probably not going to see any outline at all so it's going to be somewhere between the middle and this part so I'm going to want to engulf a little less of the image that I'm taking away here and that's starting to look pretty good. And I'll hit OK. And now when I invert, Shift Command I, and then fill that with black. Oops, whoa, not what I wanted to do. Layer mask. That is going to look awesome, guaranteed. Oops, you don't want to be doing that. I'm going to go new layer, fill that layer with black. And look how much smoother that outline is on that image. Now you can see that there's an area here where it's really sharp. Um, the white is showing through a little more than you want, and that's about that. I mean, that's just going back to your layer mask or your your inverted selection, trying again and going uh, to your refine edge and saying, okay, this time I had too much, so let's shift the edge this way a bit and tighten a little of that up. And now let's go OK, reverse my selection, and uh, do the layer mask. And now let's test that again by putting it on a black background and that's even closer tiny bit of white outline there and you can see where he's extra fuzzy there's you know it's not going to be perfect but that's a lot sharper than the first time around for sure so hopefully that helps you guys and uh, I mean you go in there after obviously with the brush and clean up these little areas that aren't perfect oops that's just on the background I want to make sure this layer mask is, mask is selected when I'm doing that so I'd come in here and I'd just sort of touch up the areas it missed but for the most part this tool is a great 
time saver for when you're editing a large image. You don't want to outline the entire image, but you can certainly get the bulk of the work done. I'm going to hit X here and get back to my white pixels to uh, bring in the areas that I missed. That really cleans things up a lot faster than had you done it by hand the entire way through. So I'm going to use my lasso to get into this tight corner here. Oops. Uh, escape out of there. Let's go right like that. Let's get a nice sharp edge in that corner. And fill that with black. Oops. I'm going for black. There it is. And yeah, you can do some basic editing after to, to kind of fix this up, but this is the idea of, you know, you want to use as much of a refined edge as possible off the start to get the uh, the pixels as close as possible with obviously minimal work and yeah hopefully that helped and happy editing